Hi, I'll take a few minutes to show you how to configure a Bluetooth capable differential pressure transmitter with an iPhone or an Android device. So the first thing we need is obviously the Bluetooth transmitter. Then you'll want to use the appropriate app for your Android or your Apple device. We'll open that up. From there, you select the instrument. And then you log in using the fingerprint or username or a password. So you'll see the uh, phone here right next to the transmitter. And then on this side of the screen, you'll notice the actual blow up of the phone. So this first screen just gives us some basic general information, tag number, serial number, device type, etc. of the instrument. To actually get into the commissioning, you select these three horizontal lines at the bottom that we call the hamburger. So select those, go into Guidance, and if you've configured instruments before, this will be very familiar. You select Commissioning, brief blurb here, go ahead and hit Next, and here is where we can start to actually change some things or keep them the same. So for example, I'm going to change the, the tag, we're going to make this FT101, we'll configure this as a flow meter for 0 to 100 inches of water, assuming it's going to be select connected to an orifice plate. Go ahead and hit Next. Some of the heart output information. Go ahead and hit Next. And then we get into the different variables we can select from for the transmitter. So we're set up now for pressure as the primary variable, the PV, the 4 to 20 milliamp on the PV. Select Next. Here we have our Units of measurement for pressure, we're in inches of water, which is good. And then we've got Fahrenheit for the temperature, which is good. Go ahead and hit Next. Here's where we can do a zero adjustment if necessary during the commissioning phase. You don't need to do that. Here's where we can change either from linear or square root for the transmitter output. We're going to have the transmitter do a square root function as we're doing a differential pressure flow equation. Low flow cutoff. Don't need to change anything, hit Next. And our transmitter is already set up for 0 to 100 inches of water. Let's just say, for example, we wanted to change that to 50 inches of water. So we just go in here, type in 50, hit OK, and it will actually save it. So then we go to Next. Here's where we can change our output settings for our current range output or our failure. Don't need to change that, hit Next. And that's it. Wizard has completely and successfully executed it. Walks you through step by step what information you need. So we go ahead and hit finish. And that's it. I'll take a minute and then show the configuration report as well.